Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Just to prove that Europeans can agree on something, VW's new Golf has been voted Car of the Year for 1992 by a judging panel made up of journalists from seven different European countries. Runners-up were Vauxhall's new Astra in second place. And Citroen's ZX in third position. British buyers will have to wait a little longer than the journalists to sample the new Golf. It goes on sale here in the spring. Last week, Francine Bogg, the Radio Times Rally Quest winner, finished 68th in the Lombard RAC Rally, making her the highest placed finisher in Rally Quest history. A superb effort since she started at the very end of the field. It was uh, a bit worse than I thought. The Kielder was much worse than I'd been told, um, which was probably quite good because it was a shock when I got in there. But we got through it and we got here, so brilliant. Any of it, does the car run well? The car's run brilliant. Not a problem, not one. The team's been unbelievable and Tony's been great. There's been so much, so many cards come through the door, um, letters, little cuddly toys, people have been passing, so much PR through the whole event. She's handled it very well, there's been a lot of pressure on the finish, and she's got to the finish and we're very pleased with it. So, what happens next year? Um, I'll be back again next year. Great, well done again. Westfield, the Midlands-based independent car builder, says this is the world's first turbo diesel sports car, soon to be available in kit form at around £12,500. The 1.8-litre, 125-horsepower engine is developed from one used in a Ford Sierra. They claim 0-60 in less than six seconds, and because it's a diesel, 60 to the gallon as well. So environmentally, it's maybe the closest thing yet to a guilt-free sports car.